Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video of Warframe and finally after 10 years we can play as the Stalker. So, you might be wondering how can we unlock it? So, we can unlock it Stalker only in the very paradox with the help of intrinsics, obviously. And how? Well, I'm gonna show you just that in this video. So, first of all, we have to go to Dormy Zone. And if you don't know how to do that, I just showed you. So, after that, we just have to like go to Teshin and uh, behind him, or when we just enter the Dormy Zone, there is one place where we can level up our intrinsics. You might know that. I mean, obviously, you know that you have played uh, played the game before. You know the drill. So let's get there. And my boy Rhino Prime is looking gorgeous right here. All right. Curious? So, what does that portend? I have already farmed a couple of intrinsics, and what you have to level up is this specific wait a moment yeah this specific intrinsic so you can see that at level 10 a special warframe or uh, an unlikely ally will appear in Tessian's cave to be as a, as a playable warframe so get it to level 10 ASAP so in you will need in total approximately 1100 intrinsics right and uh, you can earn them the best way to earn them is basically the story mode in the video paradox and level this to 10 right after that you simply need to go to Tessian's cave let me just um, yeah done I mean I have to play solo for a couple of couple of minutes that I can enjoy the stalker so let's go into the story mode and it's a moment yeah it's it's, it's going to take a, take a little while uh, it should take a little while shouldn't it anyways so stalker yeah, let me just show you what his abilities and his passives are like and what it looks like I mean I'm going to see that by myself for the first time but whatever okay we are here let's just uh, wait a moment let me check a little thing all right so we have entered the cave and here we are in front of us are the Warframes. Alright, so here is the Stalker. Looks quite cool, damn cool. Alright, we have selected him. And let's just see... Yeah, his abilities. This is the part that gets interesting. Oh man, damn. The modding is just insane. We're gonna see that in a couple of minutes. So the first one is teleport. I think it's from Ash, and uh, once you activate it, you just get back on. And you can kill an enemy. And second one is this one is marked. Um, this is from Helmet, I guess. Yep. And this is smoke makes our uh, stalker invisible. I simply just. Uh, putting something in your enemy's eyes and fourth one is punishment I'm I am think that it's like Wukong's ability I've never never played as Wukong but I think it's from him but we'll see and the passive oh damn this passive 300% critical chance of the enemies are not looking at us damn it that is quite good and grace and uh, this arcane right here I can see its name since my eyesight is not that good and sh prime sure-footed damn it the mod selection is quite exquisite I'd say because umbrel intensify umbrel vitality and stuff like that are just slapped on there and uh, this is I think hero in arrows 
Yeah, that that My was in Naros, I think. Had a saying in a fight. If I'm not wrong. Anger is as good as courage. Whatever he used to say, he's dead now, Tension. Oh my bad. Okay, I'm select selecting this one. And this guy right here. Let me just configure it. Because the mod selection I'm using is not that good because uh well for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm not using any stance right here on that. So having a stance is pretty good. Nope, I'm not using this. No uh not at all. Alright, um Oh Nataruk, my favorite. So I think Nataruk is the best uh, second best uh now of the one they called Loden. Alright. So we have entered the Undercraft. So now I'm gonna be testing the damn stalker. I mean he's been stalking us for a couple of years but by now. I mean not me. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what the first ability can do. With violence. Come on, enemies! I'm waiting for you. Oh! <laughs> damn it! I mean, I've never used Ash before, so using this for the first time is quite damn good. I mean, the information I used was from web, of course. <laughs> but, anyways. All right. Let me just... I wonder what would our second ability... Oh, damn it! That was so damn cool! I mean, when we mark them with marked uh, ability... This is the, did you look at that? That shockwave? When the dad that produces shockwave. I mean, I read that but I couldn't understand it unless I see it. And oh, he already killed the other one. It's quite, quite satisfying. But uh yes, the third ability is quite good because I think it also gives us the three hundred percent critical um thingy. The passive skill activates once enemies can see us, or even if they are not watching us. I mean, they're literally dead by the time we approach them. They won't even see us coming. When we are stalker, of course they won't see us coming. This ability is like Loki's ability, I guess. But it also gives us a lot of buff because 300% critical damage on top of what we are already using is just insane. I mean, like, imagine what you can do with it if this comes in the. And this is a third, fourth ability. Ooh. <laughs> damn it! That was so damn cool. Oh man! He just launches those energy blades all over the place. Oh damn it! That is that is insane. That does a ton of damage. I'm pretty sure about it. I thought it was like Wu Kong's ability. Oh, my bad. I, th I thought it was like Wukong's ability, but it surprised me. Oh yeah! <laughs> that is so damn cool. I mean like, I'm gonna be using it all the time. You're so dead. You don't even need to use the 300% crit damage, you can just do this shit. And uh, the other thing, the last fourth ability. Damn it. Like, they made soccer pretty damn cool Warframe. And uh, if, if I give my honest opinion, opinion about him, he's quite damn overpowered and... Uh, it's like Ash Excalibur, which we are using right now. It's, it's, it's almost like Ash, but not Ash, if you know what I mean. 
He has abilities from Loki, Helmet, Ash, and uh, the last one. That is the unique feature he got. It's quite cool. I mean, I can't complain right here. <laughs> After Revenant, um, I think Stalker is the way to go unless it comes into the, uh, not in the weary, but in the other mode, the normal game mode. It would be perfect. Okay, that's it for today, folks, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. I mean, it's been a couple of days, so I can't speak properly. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, stay tuned, and uh, I'll meet you in the next week. Now, yes? anger is a powerful one.